Then another sign appeared in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads were seven diadems on the nineteenth day of November 2019, the Lord showed me a dragon beast that was over a hundred feet long and over ten feet high, and I saw a multitude of people sitting on the dragon beast's back encompassing its over hundred feet long and packed, I also saw another multitude of people standing on both sides of the dragon beast also encompassing the length of the dragon beast because there was no space for them to sit and be carried on the back of the dragon beast due to a great number of people riding on the back of the dragon beast, they all communed with the dragon beast and set off in a fierce, determined run with the dragon beast, those riding on the back of the dragon beast and those on foot on both sides encompassing the length of the beast, running adamantly and fiercely, with speed and great ambition in their determination to destroy and crush their chosen victim and well-meaning opponents, they ran back and forth many times, each time they ran fiercely and arrived at their intended destination to destroy their intended target, but they failed and ran back to their starting point with their goals unattained, they communed again and came up with another dubious plan and ran off again and failed as usual, they ran back and concocted another dubious plan of action, made up lies and ran off again adamantly with the same speed, fierceness, determination, and great ambition, and failed to achieve their plans and objectives again and returned to concoct a new dubious plan, they did this run back and forth so many times and each time they ended up with the same failure in achieving their goals which were evil, and never gave up or see the folly, the evil, and the wickedness in their plots, actions, and ambitions, they kept regrouping and hashing out new and evil plans, one evil plot after another to no avail, the dragon beast, those riding on the back of the dragon beast, and those running on foot on both sides of the length of the dragon beast, all kept running back and forth and experiencing failure of their evil plots repeatedly, but refused to give up despite repeated failures, each time they suffered defeat, they ran back and hashed a new evil plot and new evil ideas, and the Lord said, These are the Nimroders, who build the Tower of Babel and are consumed by it, behold the storm cometh and shall consume the builders and the evil works they wrought in a sore tempest and great billows of plagues in their private and public lives, every man and woman shall surely reap what they sow according to their works, both righteous and unrighteous, everyone according to their own works even those who by their purposeful indifference and inaction have enabled evil works to prosper, do they not all invite and usher the storm and plague of judgment into their lives? Behold the storm cometh with fierce winds from the north, the south, the east, and the west, and none shall escape or be spared except those who remorsefully repent and turn away from their evil works and make restitutions, saith the Lord of hosts. On the 31st day of October 2018, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Inasmuch as the Democratic Party have chosen the path of evil in their support for every evil work and abomination before me, and have sold themselves to work that which is evil in my sight by embracing the abomination of Sodom and Gomorrah and the killing of the unborn child and the helpless, my judgment shall surely find all that enable, promulgate, and perpetuate this evil and all that are complicit to it until they are no more able to promote evil and abomination before me, in the Republican Party, there are some who have serious secret sins, I do what I do for this nation for my name's sake and for my people's sake, for the sake of my faithful servants who call upon me day and night and live by my word in obedience, everyone shall be judged according to their evil deed, their actions, and their inactions, except they repent and cease from their unrighteous ways saith the Lord God, the way of the Heaton, on the 23rd day of December 2018, I saw a minister who was preaching on television, and the minister stated, we Christians know that Jesus was not born on December 25th, but we celebrate Christmas on that day because we are honoring the birth of Jesus, I inquired of the Lord about his will concerning this, and if it is right for true Christians to celebrate that day, the 25th of December in the name of Jesus' birthday. And the Lord said, Great multitude of people who celebrate that day, the 25th of December are celebrating and observing the rituals and ordinances of pagan gods which were put in place by pagans and brought into the church by pagans on the pretext that they are serving me, 
By so doing, they have made a great multitude of people around the world to err and commit the abomination of performing pagan rituals and idolatry. They worship the dragon and the beast, and they whore after the beast, by observing this date, they have sold their souls to the beast who is deceiving great many people around the world, by celebrating this day and date they observe the rituals and celebrate the feast of pagan gods on this day the 25th of December, even if they place my holy name on it, they err and are in danger of my judgment except they repent and remove themselves from this grievous sin of the abomination of idol worship. Foolish men and women who call themselves ministers of my gospel vigorously and adamantly defend their observance of this day, the 25th of December, which is a pagan feast day, they also teach their congregations to do so and therefore lead them to commit the great sin of idolatry against me, the Most High God, they all whore after the beast in their lust and gluttony, my faithful servants honor me and celebrate me by living my word every day in obedience and in holiness before me, my faithful and obedient children must follow the examples I have provided to them in my word, observe my sabbaths and my feasts which I have set forth for you to celebrate, to rest, to eat and drink, and to be merry, also, follow the righteous examples of my ancient apostles who were with me, they saw me face to face and walked side by side in the way with me on earth neither I nor my apostles of ancient times who walked with me instituted nor observed any new feasts, my faithful apostles observed my established numerous sabbaths and feasts as it is written in my word, all who have an ear to hear, let them hear, bless to those who hear and honor my word, and turn from this grievous sin of the abomination of idolatry and pagan god worship, saith the Lord of hosts, seek me, the Lord God with all your heart and soul and with an open mind in obedience, follow my word explicitly and keep them as it is written, seek me honestly and earnestly without guile or doubt, and ye shall find me at every turn in your life, and you will behold my hand of salvation, cast down and throw away your old and righteous ways and put on the new and righteous ways, and walk in my path in humbleness and in obedience that it may be well with thee, is anyone hearing my word which I have spoken and is calling you to repentance? Blessed is he or she who hears and obey, saith the Lord God Almighty, on the eleventh day of January 2019, I saw and beheld the abomination of a very tall, huge pine tree with a very large base borne by machinery because of its size, and carried into a large corporate lobby, it was decorated with all manner of ornaments, decked with gold and other colors of ornaments, and lights, it stood two stories high and huge. A feast was made for it with loud music to celebrate its lighting in the name of Christmas, a great number of people, the staff, their families, acquaintances, neighbors, friends, etc., attended, a great multitude came and ate, drank, danced, and rejoiced over the tree lighting in celebration of Christmas, the 25th day of December, I pondered over all these things and said, Lord God, how can your faithful children escape this? How do they deal with this and escape this workplace entanglement and abomination before you? And the Lord said, My faithful servants should just don't partake in the celebration and in the eating, the drinking, the dancing, and the reveling so that they condemn not themselves by celebrating the feast of the beast, my faithful servants must remove themselves from whoring after the beast lest they condemn their souls by committing the great sin of idolatry and abomination before me saith the Most High God.